Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqil. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa attended the wedding ceremony of His Highness Sheikh Khalid, the son of the Minister of the Royal Court Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, based on His Majesty's keenness on communicating with the royal family members. The ceremony was attended by senior royal family members, officials and invitees. His Majesty congratulated the Minister of the Royal Court Affairs and his son on this occasion, wishing Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa a happy married life. Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for attending the wedding and for his noble sentiments, wishing him abundant health and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa attended the wedding ceremony of His Highness Sheikh Khalid, the son of the Minister of the Royal Court Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, based on His Royal Highness's keenness on communicating with the royal family members and participating in various occasions. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister was accompanied by the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and the advisor of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and grandchildren. The Prime Minister congratulated His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa on this occasion, wishing him a happy married life. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ali expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his kind wishes and congratulations and prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect His Royal Highness.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict 6 of 2018 transferring directors at the Ministry of Interior. The edict stipulated the transfer of Fatma Hassan Al Ghatam, the Director of Social Programs and Community Affairs in the Capital Governorate to become Director of Social Programs and Community Affairs Directorate in the Southern Governorate and the transfer of Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the Director of Nationality, Passports and Residence Directorate to become Director of Social Programs and Community Affairs Directorate in the Capital Governorate. The Minister of Interior has been tasked to implement this edict which becomes effective from the date of its issuance and to be published in the Official Gazette. Survey and Land Registration Bureau, the SLRB President Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah bin Hamid Al Khalifa affirmed that the real estate sector is receiving considerable attention in the development and strategic efforts to enhance the sector's contributions. He noted that this sector is starting a new phase with an extensive regulatory plan for development projects and all related works and operations, citing that the new legislation governing the sector is part of the comprehensive development renaissance led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa that resulted in economic growth as well as attracting large real estate projects that require more facilities and organization to ensure its sustainability in a manner that meets the needs of citizens and business owners and investors. He also added that this signals a new stage of the organized institutional action st stages that are based on modern laws and legislation which come as a continuation of the kingdom's administrative work since the 1920s of the past century. This came as part of the real estate regulatory agency launch commending in this regard the policies and directions adopted by the government under the leadership of the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa which contributed to the stability of the real estate market despite all economic challenges. The SLRB president praised the coordinating committee chaired by the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which was able to formulate an important methodology to enhance the performance of many vital sectors, including real estate. In this regard, the SLRB president lauded the committee's role in the rapid completion of the infrastructure represented by the promulgation of Law No. 27 and the establishment of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority. Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah affirmed that the RIRA Board of Directors will continue to support the executive management under the chairmanship of Chief Executive Officer Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, adding that the reg regulatory actions of the real estate sector supported by a legislative structure which stimulate the economy of Bahrain, create quality jobs in addition to enhancing the professional aspects related to this sector. The Minister of Interior, Lt. General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa attended today the celebration of the General Directorate of Civil Defense held on the occasion of the World Civil Defense Day. Present were the CEO of Benagas, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Chief Public Security Ma Major General Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan, the Governor of Capital Governorate, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, and the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Interior, Sheikh Nasser bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa. On this occasion, the Ministry of Interior expressed pride in the performance and sacrifices of the civil defense officers, as well as their competence, readiness, and courage in dealing with all circumstances. He added that the Civil Defense Directorate is highly appreciated by society in light of their noble duty that strives to maintain public safety. The Minister affirmed that the civil defense officers' distinguished performance reflects their patriotic sense of responsibility. He hailed their adoption of advanced plans and programs against crises and disasters, which is part of their continuous efforts to protect lives and properties. He added that efforts are being exerted to further develop the Civil Defense Directorate and keep up with the pace of urban expansion in the Kingdom, as well as take precautionary measures in the case of any future events in light of the current developments. During this year's celebration, which was held under the theme Educational Institutions and the Culture of Safety, the Chief of Public Security delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to the Ministry of Interior for its continuous directives that urged all national authorities to spread the concepts and message of civil defense. He noted that a number of events and activities were held this year to raise public awareness on the concepts of civil defense. Following the speech, the Ministry of Interior inaugurated the Fireman Challenge, affirming that this competition reflects a small part of the efforts of the civil defense officers, adding that it also promotes the value of fair competition. 
Major companies took part in the competition, which aims to instill the values of patience and rather competitiveness in civil defense officers. The minister honored a number of the civil defense partners, including industrial companies and other parties. He also honored a number of civil defense officers who excelled in their service in the field of rescue and firefighting. The Civil Defense Directorate celebrates the 2018 World Civil Defense Day themed educational institutions and the culture of safety. The celebration emphasizes the importance of security awareness and culture in the field of public safety. More in this report. The Civil Defense continues its noble duty to maintain the public safety of all citizens and residents as well as safeguard national resources, which is what the 2018 World Civil Defense Day celebrates. This year's celebration was launched under the theme of educational institutions and the culture of safety, which indicates the recognition of international civil protection organization of the role of education institutions and raising public awareness and creating generation that believes firmly in the culture of safety. Schools, universities and institutes play an important role in spreading the culture of safety among the members of society, which also raises the readiness level of the members of the Civil Defense Department in promoting public safety. The Public Relations Office at the General Directorate of Civil Defense organizes a number of awareness campaigns that serve the public interest and educate citizens and residents in the Kingdom of Bahrain on safety and the protection of lives and properties. Some of these campaigns are held during the camping season or in swimming pools, factories or warehouses. In the General Directorate of Civil Defense, there is a specialized department called the Civil Defense School to train new individuals. Training is also provided to raise the level of readiness of civil defense members. There is also training in centers to increase readiness to deal with all incidents and emergencies. The statistics of 2017 showcased the Civil Defense Directorate's competence in carrying out rescue and evacuation operation. The Directorate has received 8,143 reports for rescues and assistance from both private and public establishments. This reflects the Civil Defense's proficiency in performing its noble tasks and duties. The President of the Asian Football Confederation, the AFC, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, attended the international friendly football match between the Saudi and Iraqi teams held yesterday at the Jid al Nakhla Stadium in the Iraqi city of Basra. Accompanying the FAC president were Youth and Sports Affairs Minister Hisham al Jodar, Bahrain Olympic Committee, the BOC General Secretary Abdurrahman Askar, Bahrain's Ambassador to Iraq Saleh al Malki, and the Ministry of Interior's Community Affairs Advisor Abdul Latif al Sakran, in addition to a number of AFC officials. Sheikh Salman praised the excellent image of the friendly map between the two teams, noting the great organization and the presence of the large attendees emphasizing the role of football in enhancing ties of affinity and love among the people. The president of the Asian Football Federation held a press conference on the sidelines of his visit in which he expressed his thanks and gratitude to the officials in the Republic of Iraq. He asserted the AFC's support of Iraqi demands to lift the international embargo, impose on holding of international matches in Iraq, and expressed his admiration for the Iraqi success in hosting several international friendly games during the past few months. He also praised the fruitful efforts exerted by the competent bodies in the Republic of Iraq in order to work hard to complete the various international requirements and requirements necessary to lift the embargo.
The Assistant Foreign Minister Abdullah bin Faisal al Dosri chaired the Bahraini delegation participating in the high level segment of the 37th session of the Human Rights Council in Geneva. He affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain has made pioneering achievements in the fields of democracy and guaranteeing the rights and public of personal freedoms of all citizens, men and women. He noted that the pioneering civilizational initiatives taken by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa to promote tolerance and peaceful coexistence among all members of society. He pointed out that the Kingdom of Bahrain, as part of the government's work program for the years 2015 to 2018, and in line with its economic vision 2030, is keen to promote and protect human rights in the context of sustainable development after achieving the Millennium Development Goals by 2015. The Assistant Foreign Minister highlighted that national legislation and laws ensure the promotion of popular participation in political and public affairs, the protection of human rights, the rights of the child and the elderly, the care and rehabilitation of disabled persons, combating trafficking in persons, among many others. He also expressed that based on the principles of the National Charter on the outputs of the National Dialogue, the constitutional amendments were issued for the years 2002 and 2012. The Assistant Foreign Minister congratulated the President of the Human Rights Council and the members of the office wishing them success in carrying out the work of the Council.